Good morning and aloha everybody. Welcome to Law Across the Sea. My name is Mark Shklov. I'm the host of Law Across the Sea. We have a program that we bring every other Monday talking about lawyers and law and lawyers who have crossed the sea for various reasons. Today my guest is Dr. Tang Biao. Dr. Tang is a lawyer from the People's Republic of China. He was an outspoken academic and civil rights activist in China. He was formerly a lecturer with the China University of Political Science and Law and also provided legal representation in death penalty and civil rights cases. Dr. Tang left China as a result of recent persecution of civil rights lawyers in that country. Dr. Tang, since leaving China, has been a visiting fellow at Harvard Law School and at Yale Law School. He is currently a visiting scholar at New York University and the Institute for Advanced Study. He is presently in Hawaii as the inaugural participant in the University of Hawaii at Manoa's Scholars at Risk program. This is a special program that's funded by the University of Hawaii as well as private sources including Hawaii lawyers Rich Turbin, Ray St. Chu, Judy Pavey, and Larry Foster, the former dean of the University of Hawaii Law School. Dr. Foster is here today as my co-host and I'd like to welcome both Dr. Tung and Dr. Foster. Welcome to Hawaii. Aloha. Good, good, aloha. Good Thank to you. see, good to see you. Me. Yeah. Our, our pleasure. Uh, Dr. Tung, I, I want to ask you a few questions uh, just to help me understand where you're, you're yeah. from yeah. and what you've done. Uh, according to what I've heard, you are a rights defense lawyer in China. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. What, what is that? What is a rights defense lawyer? Um, rights defense lawyer um, in China means a uh, um, lot of uh, Chinese lawyers um, use the Chinese constitution and, and laws to um, defend human rights and, and uh, uh, challenge the abuse of power. Um, and uh, Ab uh, abuses of power. Yeah, by, of by power. the government. Yeah, by the government. I see. Um, and uh, um, um, in uh, many uh, cases, you know, these lawyers uh, defend not only uh, the, the human rights and um, and, and uh, fundamental uh, freedom, but also uh, you know, uh, uh, promote uh, democracy in China. I see. And you and you hold yourself in that category. As a, and that's, is that similar to uh, a civil rights lawyer is in, in Hawaii or in the United States, what we would con call, a, call a civil rights lawyer? Or is there a little um, bit of a difference? Or how, how do you see? Uh, yeah, uh, um, no human rights lawyers in China and the United States um, uh, defend uh, human rights and, or, or civil rights. Um, but uh, there are at least uh, two major uh, indifference, uh, uh, difference. Uh, one is uh, uh, in the United States and, and other Western countries, uh, there is a, a rule of law and, uh, uh, and the lawyers uh, uh, can use the, the, uh, no, the, the, the legal uh, system. And then uh, the, uh, uh, but in China, the, uh, the rule of law um, is our goal. We don't have a rule of law and we don't have judicial uh, you know, uh, independence and, uh, and, and then uh, it's very, very hard for Chinese human rights lawyers to, to work. And the second one is uh, the, the, the safety of the human rights lawyers uh, are not guaranteed in, in, uh, in China. Uh, many human rights lawyers uh, encounter uh, you know, all kinds of harassment and persecution. And, and uh, you know, uh, today, uh, uh, many lawyers are uh, in detention and, and dis disappearance. And, and uh, lots in, of in lawyers- In China. In China, yeah. So, so we uh, you know, 
uh, always um, um, oh, uh, arrested or, 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 or sentenced or disappeared or even tortured. So that's uh, a main difference. Dr. Foster, you've spent some time in China, and what, what questions would you be asking Dr. Tung about his experiences and background? Yeah, that may, uh, a number of questions. <laughs> sure. Uh, let, let me begin by saying that uh, I really consider uh, Dr. Tung a real, a real hero, uh, the kind of person that can stand up to power and, and, and say the kinds of things and do the kinds of things that he's done takes a, a great deal of, deal of courage uh, uh, to do. So I really appreciate the work that you Thank and you. your colleagues are doing uh, in, 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 in China. Uh, maybe if you could give us an example of maybe one or two of the cases that you got involved in, the, these rights defense lawyers. Uh, I, I have a recollection that, that there's a uh, rights lawyer that is, uh, uh, was in the news here in the United States a few years back, the uh, so-called blind lawyer. Uh, uh, as I recall, you were on part of his legal team in, in China, and maybe you could talk a little bit about that case. Um, yeah, um, you know, in 2003, um, uh, there was a very uh, um, influential uh, case, uh, a Sun Zigong case. Um, actually, that, that, that is the, the very beginning of the uh, rights defense movement in China. And uh, in that case, uh, uh, a young uh, designer was um, tortured to death in the custody and repatriation center. And uh, uh, me and two other uh, scholars, uh, lawyers, uh, wrote an open letter to the National People's Congress to challenge the constitutionality of the custody and repatriation uh, system. And then, uh, 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 and then uh, many uh, lawyers and, and scholars um, protested in, uh, against this uh, unconstitutional uh, detention. Um, and, uh, and then uh, several months uh, later, uh, this uh, uh, regulation was uh, abolished. And um, uh, another case, maybe uh, uh, Chen Guangcheng's case, uh, 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 Chen Guangcheng is a blind activist in Shandong uh, province. Uh, he uh, uh, made a lot of effort to uh, challenge the uh, forced abortion and forced sterilization, you know, under the one child policy. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, I and a lot of other human rights lawyers went to uh, that village um, providing uh, legal assistance to Chen and, and uh, and other uh, victims. Um, so uh, uh, we uh, human rights lawyers in China um, have taken a lot of these uh, human rights cases or, or sensitive cases. And then, and, and then uh, uh, the number of human rights lawyers in China is increasing rapidly. Um, in 2003, uh, there are or only 20 or 30 human rights lawyers all over China. But now, maybe more than a thousand. Yeah. And and you you mentioned uh, that you started off with a letter in the in the newspaper. Is that right? Yeah. Or, uh, uh, it's an open letter open to letter. the National People's Congress. I yeah. see. And was that how, how was that published? I mean, was that in a, a newspaper or a, like a? It's an, uh, a a newspaper, uh, and um, uh, it's uh, quite. Um, uh, Sato, you, uh, you know, the, the newspapers, the televisions are totally controlled by the right. uh, Communist Party. But, uh, but since 1990s, uh, 19, uh, 1990s, uh, uh, there was a process of uh, marketization of the, the media. And then, and then some media um, you know, want to um, report some, some uh, true news. The, uh, and 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 some journalists uh, uh, like like lawyers, uh, they want also uh, challenge the abuse of power by, by the government, uh, and and then um, and then uh, uh, the Sun, Sun Zigong's death was uh, uh, reported uh, in uh, Nanfang Dusbao, the Southern Metropolitan newspaper, and then. Uh, you know, our open letter was also I published. See. So there is some opportunity to talk about these things in China. Uh, yeah. uh, there was. 
Yeah, and uh, another very uh, important element is uh, internet, the social media. Mm. So even if the the uh, official newspaper uh, didn't um, publicize it, we can also use uh, uh, the uh, social media, the uh, blog or, uh, or Twitter. Uh, or no, th there was no Twitter in, in 2003, but but uh, later on a lot of uh, social media, and then uh, it is uh, it, it plays a very important role in the uh, rights defense movement. Uh, it make uh, it's very helpful for us to uh, organize, uh, to mobilize people, to uh, disseminate uh, messages, the censored information, and then and then uh, it. Promote promotes the rights defense movement um, positively and actively. Okay, so uh, there are uh, ways to uh, talk about civil rights, human rights in China, and that you say it's growing. How, but how did you, how did you get involved? How did how what was your start in the, the rights defense or human rights? Yeah, um, so I just mentioned Sun Zigang case. Mm. Um, that was my first uh, human rights uh, case. But, but why, uh, why, I mean, it would have been much easier not yeah. to take that case. Uh, um, how, what, what made you want um, to do that? Yeah, um, you know, when, uh, when I was in uh, P uh, Peking University, uh, uh, you know, uh, preparing my uh, PhD, I had a lot of discussion with uh, doc, uh, with Xu Ziyong and Yu Jiang, uh, two of my uh, classmates, and then uh, you know we um, uh, decided to do something to promote uh, rule of law in China, and we we uh, you know, uh, paid a lot of attention to these um, uh, issues like. Uh, uh, forced abortion, torture, death penalty, and including the custody and repatriation, repatriation system. So uh, after this, the report of Sun Zigang case, we decided to to contribute a little bit. And uh, in that open letter, we um, uh, demanded not only uh, the abolition of uh, custody and repatriation system, but also uh, to push forward the constitutional review system in China because we want the National People's Congress to review uh, a regulation issued by the, the State Council. So, uh, and, and that, that is very uh, important in China to have a, you know, um, a, a basic um, a, a constitutional review. And, and uh, that is very um, risky at that time, but we decided to do so. I see. Well, and we're going to take a little break right now. And at the, when we start again, I'd like you to tell us what happened to you okay. when we yeah. a, after our break as a result of uh, your actions as a rights defense lawyer. So we'll take a break right now and come back okay. and talk about that. Okay. Thank you for watching Think Tech. I'm Grace Chang, the new host for Global Connections. You can find me here live every Thursday at 1 p.m where we'll be talking to people around the islands or visiting the islands who are connected in various aspects of global affairs. So please tune in and aloha and thanks for watching. Okay, I'm here with Brett Obergaard of the Faculty of the School of Journalism in the Department of Communications at UH Manoa. We've had a number of shows. We have a movable feast going on and we talk about journalism, we talk about language, we talk about communication in general, and we talk about the effect of that on the country and on individual people. Brett, it's so good to, to be able to discuss this with you in our movable feast. Oh, it's my pleasure. This is a great opportunity. You'll have to come back again and again, okay, deal? Uh, that's the deal. Brett Obergaard, <laughs> I'm Jay Fidel. We care about everything. Thanks. <laughs>
Yeah, um, since 2003, um, I had taken a lot of uh, sensitive cases, uh, and I uh, co-founded a couple of NGOs in, in China. Uh, uh, one is uh, uh, Open Constitution Initiative, Gongmeng, and another is China Against the Death Penalty. And uh, I um, uh, focus a lot on um, uh, torture, uh, uh, no freedom of expression, religious freedom, uh, and uh, um, no, uh, land rights. Um, I uh, defended for uh, Falun Gong practitioners, the political distance, and uh, uh, no, and the uh, the victims of uh, miscarriage of justice. Uh, so, because of my um, uh, human rights lawyering, uh, I was banned from teaching. And eventually, I was fired by my university. Uh, I was disbarred. Uh, yeah. And and so, excuse me. But so the the yeah. cases that you were taking were contrary to what the government wanted. Is that correct, or contrary to the government position? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and and the government took this action to bar you from teaching. Yeah. I see. Yeah, okay. and I was uh, disbarred, and uh, uh, I was put under house arrest, and, and I was uh, kidnapped um, actually three times and detained really? and and uh, um, uh, and tortured. Yeah. What what was what was what happened? I mean, what happened when you were kidnapped and tortured? What what was the um, result of that? No, uh, in two thousand eight, um, uh, I tried to. Uh, uh, represent Hu Jia, another prominent uh, activist, and uh, and uh, then uh, I was kidnapped and they uh, who, threatened. Who, who kidnapped you? The secret police. Yeah, uh, uh, Guo An Guo Bao, the, the secret police. Uh, and what did they yeah. do? So uh, so when I uh, uh, returned home uh, uh, after I, I parked my car, I you know, uh, for uh, people just. And forced me into their their car and put me uh, uh, put a, a, a sack uh, uh, on my head and then and then detained me and I I didn't know where I, I was. Did detained. you know who they were? Did you have any I, idea who they were? They uh, they are from the secret police, but I I I don't know uh, their their names, their position, and and the same thing happened in in two thousand and eleven. Um, I was uh, also kidnapped and then uh, detained for 17 days. Uh, during the detention, I was put under uh, extreme of extreme form of uh, solitary confinement and, and physically and mentally tortured. And uh, I was forced to wear a, a handcuff uh, and 24/7. Uh, no, uh, I was uh, forced to sit down on the ground uh, facing. The wall uh, from 6 a.m. to to midnight, 12 o'clock, um, and uh, so a lot of uh, human rights activists were also uh, kidnapped and detained and tortured at that time. And what what were they telling you? Or was it, were they telling you anything? Were they was was there? A, did they say? Um, your, they, you, why you were there, or give you any basis to make a, a decision of um, what would happen? Yeah, they uh, printed uh, all my articles and, and interviews and my my my, my uh, Twitter posts, and then uh, they uh, uh, they said uh, they can uh, sentence me. They can they can charge me with uh, state subversion and and sentence me up to ten years. And, and they didn't tell me uh, how long they, uh, they uh, would uh, detain me because um, it's not, uh, uh, not according to criminal procedure. I was not, not detained in the detention center. It's, it's, uh, it's an abduction and, uh, and disappearance. Um, and they, they, so they, they tried to stop me from um, doing human rights work. Did it work? Did they no. stop you? No, uh, I uh, no, uh, I uh, faced uh, uh, you know, uh, this kind of harassment, persecution every day, every week. Um, but uh, every time I was uh, released, um, uh, I may feel um, 
uh, afraid for a while, but, uh, but I didn't stop. And every time I uh, even went further, I, I took more and more uh, sensitive cases, and I uh, uh, even organized more um, protests and, and uh, uh, you know, participated in a lot of uh, political activities. Did they ever put you up to trial or anything like that? No. You know? And at some point, you decided to leave China. Or what, what, how did that come about? Um, in late 2013, I was a visiting scholar in Hong Kong. And then a lot of my uh, colleagues, human rights lawyers, uh, were uh, arrested. And then uh, all of my friends um, advised me not to go back because if I went back, I would be uh, arrested, uh, definitely. And then I uh, was invited by Harvard Law School, so I decided to come here. Okay, and you have a family in China. Yeah, um, and when I um, uh, came to Boston with one of my daughters, my wife and, um, and another daughter of mine uh, were blocked from traveling abroad. And, and we, and, and of course, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of collective uh, punishment. The, the, the government want to use them as hostages to silence me. And, but I, 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 of course, don't want to be silent. And uh, I continue my human rights work in the States. And then, uh, and then we didn't have any hope. And, and, and uh, finally, uh, my wife and, and, and daughter decided to smuggle themselves out. And they joined you yeah, in Boston. Yeah. Larry, what, what are your I insights in this? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I don't know if I have insights particularly, but you know, there, there, there are some interesting verbs that uh, Professor Tung is using uh, in terms of the, the tactics used against lawyers. <coughs> uh, arrested, detained, or disappeared. Hmm. And disappeared is sort of a new word that came into the vocabulary yeah. in 2013. People just literally disappeared. Ne uh, never to be seen. Never to be seen or heard from again. Uh, detained often is illegal detention, even under Chinese law, illegal detention. Um, nobody knows where you are. Nobody can talk to you. You have no right to a lawyer or anything like that. Uh, the lucky ones get arrested and there's some sort of a more public process. Mm -hmm. uh, but but it's a very it's a very dangerous time for rights lawyers in, in China, so I, I was very heartened to learn that the uh, the number of rights lawyers is really increasing, yeah. and, and and that that that's just a tremendously uh, uh, hopeful sign for the future. Well, yeah. in that respect, what what do you see for the future of China? Uh, I, I mean, uh, speaking for myself, I have lots of Chinese friends, uh, lawyers, non lawyers, yeah. in China. Um, I do not like to feel for them that their system or their government is oppressive. Uh, I was thinking that China was actually progressing, uh, yeah. moving, moving very well towards, yeah. towards the future. Uh, wh what do you see? What, what do you f see for China for the future? What, would you, you know, what do you see? What would you like to see? Um, yeah. Um, on the one hand, um, you know, um, China has you no know, uh, um, market economy, and uh, then the, the social media, um, um, and of course, is is uh, uh, censored. And then, uh, you know, the uh, the legalization, the recovery of uh, legal professions, and then the uh, we have seen a, a, a rising rights defense movement, mm -hmm. um, and. Um, uh, on the other hand, the, the, the Communist Party um, actually refuses the idea of uh, rule of law or democracy or constitutionalism, and it never stops um, uh, to uh, um, uh, surprise the uh, civil society or the human rights movement, uh, especially after uh, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping uh, took his office in late 2012. Uh, it actually, uh, he started a, a comprehensive crackdown on human rights lawyers. Pre President Xi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, NGOs and uh, underground churches and Tibetan and Uyghurs and uh, uh, no, the, all these uh, 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 people uh, oh, demanding democracy and, and rule of law in China. Um, 
um, especially uh, the, 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 June, uh, the, the July uh, 9th uh, crackdown on lawyers. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, uh, we can see that the, uh, this kind of severe crackdown uh, didn't stop the, uh, the human rights activists in, uh, in, in China. And, and, and people continue to, to stand up to fight for uh, their fundamental rights and, and, and freedom. Um, so I believe uh, Chinese people will achieve um, freedom and democracy, and, uh, uh, and there may be a, a long way to go, but the Communist Party can't prevent uh, Chinese people from um, you know, fighting for democracy. So well that, well, that is hopeful for, for me, uh, and yeah. I, I, I would like to see that happen. And yeah. the idea of, of democracy, uh, maybe when China started to open up a, a few years ago, maybe that idea got in. Uh, it, and, and it seems to, according to what you've said, then there, there's a growing number of of y younger lawyers, would that be right? That are yeah, yeah. Think, thinking along those lines that democracy is a good thing, and that the rule of law is something that we should aspire to. Is that is that, is that a correct uh, um, assumption on my part? Um, yeah, uh, though Chinese government uh, tries its best to brainwash uh, Chinese people, and uh, but. Uh, more and more Chinese people, both young and, and old, uh, realize the importance of democracy or, or rule of law, and and then um, and then you know the, this kind of political system and, and legal system um, uh, violates um, people's rights uh, every day, and then right. then people will stand up to fight for their own rights and others. Uh, right. Um, so, um, so uh, I have seen clearly that more and more people uh, will, uh, you know, support democracy and do something for democracy in China. In China. In China. Yeah. And do you think they'll be able to see our program in China? Do you see? I think they will yeah. be able to see this program, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so some some Chinese uh, people, especially uh, uh, activists. Uh, can uh, use kind of software or VPN to escape the GFW to uh, you know, to access to the, the censored programs and the information, and that's that's the, the hope. Yeah. The uh, GFW is the Great Chinese Firewall yeah. that uh, blocks everything bad. Yeah. Well, hopefully our program can get in uh, and they can see that you're here with us in Hawaii. And I want to thank you very much for coming today.